Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick and we're going to be revisiting a game we looked at a little while ago, but I think it was on the, the 48k. Uh, this one is Supercars on the 128k this time, published by Gremlin Graphics in 1990. It's a top-down racing game which also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. I mainly know it from the Commodore Amiga days, which I played a little bit there, so let's see how this one plays in 8-bit glory. Now, you start off with a quite basic car. You can see the cash down in the bottom left. Uh, here's the shop where you can do various upgrades you can see how much money I've got left this involves front missiles power steering and all the usual sort of stuff and eventually upgrading your car but there's nine tracks on this and by going over and over and over again you pick up more and more money uh, and then to do more and more destruction so we'll see how it goes uh, the 48k didn't have any music 128k did so here we are at the back rather monochrome apart from the grass let's see if I can move around here it's not scrolling too badly is it um, mm, I can't get past this car. This Roadhog, he's driving around about two miles an hour. Get out of the way, you fool. Now, let's see how it goes around the corners. Yep, you do have to ease up the accelerator a little bit. I do need power steering here. You see my position, I'm two of four on lap one of five. Uh, next to that, along the middle there, in red, yellow and green, it shows the damage to the engine, damage to the bodywork, how much fuel we've got left, and uh, how good our tyres are. At the end of each race we get certain money, depending on where we finished, and we can use that to upgrade the car or for repairs. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. It's Gremlin Graphics doing what they do best. I don't mind this music. Scrolling is not too bad. Not too bad at all. The clean detection is okay. You have to find your way past cars. Sometimes they work as a bit of a roadblock. Good, good, good. I would have played this quite a bit back in the day, as I did the... Um, the Amiga version. In particular, Amiga version I played with Supercars 2. I think this is like an amalgamation of those two mixed together. So we're revisiting, folks. Revisiting games that I reviewed quite a while ago on the channel when I was just finding my feet. So well worth another look. This is quite renowned as one of the big ones on the 16-bit computers. Not sure if it missed the boat slightly on 8-bit, but good to see the attention, or uh, well, the attempt made, really. Right, we're in first place, we're now lapping cars for fun, so it starts off quite easy, a nice gentle learning curve on this. Nine tracks, so we'll, we'll have a go at a few of them, but we won't play all of them, otherwise it'll go on forever. Hurrah, you can't beat the good old ZX Spectrum, it's my favourite computer, because it's the one I first had. Now, you might have a different uh, computer that's your favourite, basically more than likely the first one you had because that's when everything was new and the nostalgia and the excitement was at its maximum. So you might be a ZX Spectrum 48k like me, you might be the 128k, you might be an Atari 2600 or 2600 person, uh, you might be just PlayStation, Commodore 64 or Amstrad CPC is your favourite because that's where your memories are and you should argue that that is the best system that ever was invented because I certainly do that with a 48k. Admittedly, the uh, Spectrum has got its flaws here and there, but this is playing on the 128K. It's all about the memories, it's all about nostalgia, and we've come first and won £20,000. There's the gang there, waving, if that's what they're doing, unless it's waxworks. Right, so, you can see a tick next to track one. This is class one. We can buy new cars of this person if we've got enough money, but I don't think we have. So here's all the different cars you can buy. We've got a 1.6 lease you can see down below there. Let's try and buy something big. I don't think I've got enough money for that. Take it or leave it. Well, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, a joker then. Come back when you've got enough cash. There's the three cars there, white, blue, and red. Let's get some, let's get some stuff, shall we? So we can fire at people. Rear missile, that could be good. Super retro, I don't know what that means. Hmm, right, perhaps it's tires. Don't know. Side armors there, anti-spin, high speed, that could be important. Turbo charge, let's have some of that. Now I'm spending all my money here. I should spend some money on that bottom bit, like the tyres and stuff. You can see that my tyres are a bit worn out from the last race. I might pay for that. I should have, I should have, um, I should have redone my tyres. But anyway, I should have redone the fuel as well. This could be a terrible mistake. That's taken him out. So one, oh look at that! I've created a rope. This is stupid, Nick. Bad tactics. I've created a roadblock for myself. Right, so once you, there's only four opponents, once you take one out, that's them out of the race, so that could prove very profitable indeed. I've got a rear missile as well, I seem to remember, or the car's sliding about the place. I should have, it's, it's because, it's because I didn't repair my tyres. The guy's a nincompoop. Well, I do, I do like the shadowing on this by the, uh, under the tunnel there as well. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a problem for me now. Car's sliding around on ice. 
The opponent's cards always seem to be slightly wider. Don't know what's going on there. Right, that's caught past him. So we're in second place. But yeah, we're losing we're, we're losing too much on the corners. And any um Yeah, any over Oh, good back for the uh, missile. Yeah, any contact with the other opponents, the back markers is gonna cost you. We can weave through here, can we? Second place. First place, right now. So just trying to keep them behind me now if I can do. They're going to be quicker around the corners, I think, and I'm going to be quicker on the straights. If you just gain slightly there, if I can just, yeah. They take quite a wide line there, so if I can go narrowly in, that's where I'm going to gain the time. This looks like a tricky little bit if your tyres are rubbish. Yeah, I, it's lap two or five. I don't think this car's going to survive. Look at the tyres in the in the far right there. We're almost, oh my god, we're almost in, in oh, that, that hasn't helped. Gazonks. We're almost in, in the red there. Look, the, my body is taking a lot of pummeling. Did not need that. Right, I think the car might explode at some point. There's a car we've taken out before. So always remember, repair your car. Get the MOT done. Pay your road tax. Put the petrol in and boom. Yeah, this music is okay, uh, but it's starting to annoy me ever so slightly now. It looks like it's been played by the, the Dip Dot Random Band. They're just, they're, it's like jazz, isn't it? They just play whatever they feel like rather than doing a tune. Great. Get your jazz hands ready. Right, we're going to win this race if the car makes it to the end. But look at the tyres still, it's in red. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh man, why, why, why didn't you tell me to repair my tyres when I had to? When we've just, we, we was just too busy getting rear missile, front missile and all that sort of stuff. And we just didn't repair the tyres. Right, okay, so maybe we can just poodle around and just about make it. So what that is there. I'm being caught up slightly by the guy in second place, it seems. So he's putting the pressure on. Yeah, it's really not gripping the road at all now. They've fallen off the edge of a cliff. The opponent's right behind me. Oh, that was good. It held well there. Right, go. This is where we gain the most time along here. We've got one lap to go. Tyres on the narrowest of narrowest red left. Then we get touch and go where we make this, people. But yeah, it's a good top-down racer, isn't it, really, this? On the uh, on the ZX Spectrum. There's a few of them out there, but this, this moves quite well. I like the angles, the different angles of the car as it turns around. There's a few levels of animation there. Tyres look like nothing now. Surely I can't last too much longer. If I just get to the end... No, I haven't got to the end. You skidded once too often and your tyres exploded. Well, that's my fault. Hopefully now they regenerate back up to maximum. Duh, 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 duh. So that was a big waste of time by me. And it's the, it's game over. As soon as your tyres explode, that's it, and you have to start all over again. He starts all over again. Right, we'll do track nine this time, and then we'll probably get out of here. Boom. Start. Your engines. There's the girl there. She's, her hands have been glued to the desk by some uh, evil boss. She's stuck there forever. Help me, she says, between clenched uh, um, teeth. Right, anti-spin, turbocharger. Yeah. Okay. Now, normally at the bottom there, after the first race, where it says sold on the fuel, it tells you how much to refuel entirely. So, you know, little tip for you. After each race, have a look at that and repair the car. Right, come on, let's drift. No, oh. he's, he's weaving. He's weaving in the way. He's got the slowest car ever. Right, up into third place. Up into second place. Don't let first place get away. Now I'm presuming track nine is going to be the most trickiest of all the tracks. Looks like we've got some tight corners. Yeah, I've turned in a bit late there, but if you learn it, you can upgrade your car for side armor, which makes the body uh, last a little bit longer. Power steering is needed. Makes you turn in the corners a bit quicker as well. Uh, at the moment, I'm struggling again. First place is getting further and further away into the distance. We need to pull them back, folks. Da, 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 da. Now, let me know what you think of this game, whether you like it or hate it. Um, music is now getting a bit annoying. It seems like when the car... It might be my imagination. It seems like when the car skids around the corners, it seems like the, the main theme music has a bit of a problem um, playing at the same time. I mean, this aren't, these aren't competitors I'm against, they're just mainly roadblocks, aren't they? Just trying to... Yeah, see, look at that. Oh, man. I would like to see the other cars a different colour, but that's pushing it a bit. And now, look at this. 
Oh look, oh, this is causing lots of body damage. This is team orders. This is stupid. They're in league with the person in the lead, look. They're not trying to win, they're just trying to block me. Oh, get out of the way, you twit. Imagine this if he was on the main road. It's like, a, it's like the police trying to box you in. Oh, I'll go up this way. Look at that. The body's taking so much damage there, look. Still taking damage. I need to ditch these guys. So long, oh man, I was going to say so long, suckers, but I still haven't got rid of them. Oh, the car's going to explode into flames soon. Right, just get away from these twits. Need to do this fine. As, as, as soon as I can get about three or four inches away from them on screen, I think I'm going to leave them behind. Massively. Right. Now, I can't afford to bash into too much stuff. I'm only on lap two of five. So once you've completed all the tracks and upgraded your cars, then I think this game's going to get super, super exciting. This isn't going to be a complete walkthrough as per usual, which is me mucking about, really, and having a bit of fun. Showing you the game, giving you a chance if you've forgotten about this completely, or didn't even know it came out on the Spectrum, to, to decide whether you want to track this down, either in physical form or just as a, a download from somewhere. Hurrah! Right, okay. The music starts going a little bit oriental every now and again. It keeps coming in and out, doesn't it, really? I don't mean, it even it even doesn't even know what it's doing. Right. Full f tires look good this time. It's just the bodywork where we've got an issue. Fuel looks plentiful. Hold there. It's trying to ease off the... I, it's, it's knowing when to you can ease off the fire button for acceleration or whether you can do the... the the full, uh, full super blast all the way around the corner, but it certainly is skidding. Yeah, you might hear the skidding every now and again as that high pitch sound. Oh, it's turned in too early. Right, bodywork looking bad again. Lap three of five. Yeah, look, we're not. This car's not gonna last. I don't know what car this is. Is it a Porsche? Is it a Ferrari? Is something else, or is it a spider? Don't know. It's not an insect or something. Maybe it's a future car. Maybe it's that Ghostbusters car. What was it called? Electro One? No, not Electro. Ecto One. That's it. Ecto One. Oh, look at that! Crashed into the side. Drift through. But the shadowing is good. I've said that before. I'll say it again. Moves quite quick as well. 128k. Hmm. I think it's number one of those ones where, just because of the annoyance of the music, I prefer the 48k, which plays pretty similar, uh, then to this. It hasn't got all the skidding and stuff on it, really, but it's a bit of a... I think without the music, it would be a bit of a, um, you know, soulless affair, but I think I prefer it on that, really. Supercars 2, as far as I'm aware, did not come out on the ZX Spectrum. A bit late in the day for it, but another Gremlins classic they had a go at. They did have a go at Lotus Turbo Esprit on the 128K, believe it or not. We did review that quite some time ago, so if you get a chance, check out that review. Lap 5, I think the car's just going to about last. We're going to end up second, I think. First place is miles away. I think the only chance... I mean, bear in mind we're doing track 9 without hardly any upgrades and the basic car. We're in class 1. I think it might go up if you complete them all. But um, I'm not doing too too badly, really, by my own low standards. If you spent hours on this and completed every class, every track, then let us know. Show off in the comment section below. Yeah. Right, tyres looking a bit weak again, but I think we might last this time. You, there's no op opportunity to do pit stops in this. But I think if you had um, proper steering, power steering, I think it might save the tyres a little bit so the car's not spinning all over the place. I think this is, is this it? Is that the finishing line? Yes, it's the finishing line. Congratulations, track nine completed, results to follow. So second place isn't too bad. And it's quite an addictive game really because you've got that sort of like um, feeling that you want to complete all the tracks and get to the best cars and see what you can do. So, you know, I hope you liked having a look at that game. It's a fairly good game. I prefer it on the 48k than the 128k just because of the uh, music, essentially. But published by Gremlin Graphics in 1990. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than more than welcome, and I do appreciate you, you watching there. So, thank you once again. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.